Internet here, and uh, today I want to go over this uh, particular listing that I found through Zillow. And uh, I think you're going to really like this one. It's a pretty unique house, absolutely gorgeous. And I wanted to go over some of the amenities and as well as the uh, listing agent you can contact if you're interested in picking up this home. Uh, today we're going to be looking at 3509 Northwest 44th Place. This is in Cape Coral, Florida, 33993. Today this is a four bed, three bath house, over 2,500 square feet, and it's listing for $734,500. Now, this home has so many upgrades. Uh, I mean, it's just absolutely amazing all the extra work they put into this house. So I wanna kinda go one by one through these. Um, one of the nice parts of this is that it is a four car garage. So if you've got extra vehicles, or let's say you have a couple of motorcycles, you have a lawnmower, you have extra bicycles, basically whatever it is that you have, you can fit it in there. You have plenty of room. So one of the other nice features is uh, they've done an upgrade with a house generator. So let's say maybe you're from up north, you're not familiar with Florida weather here. Sometimes during our rainy season, we get some pretty severe thunderstorms or especially during hurricane season. Uh, a lot of times the power can go down. So with this, you have your own generator to run your house even when the city power is out. So you're gonna be a huge fan of the neighbors around you because uh, if they don't have power, they're gonna to wanna to come hang out and party with you while you do have power. Anyways, uh, one of the other features that it shows here in the list is a 90 degree slider. Those are the slider doors in the living room leading out to the uh, patio area by the pool. And uh, I'm gonna show you what those look like and why they're so unique in just a few minutes. Uh, one of the other features is a propane stove. You have the oversized garage doors, obviously for the four car garage, customized cabinets, spice racks, roll out trays, and an oversized fridge and freezer. There's also under cabinet lighting, as well as upgraded plumbing fixtures throughout the whole house. Uh, the pool includes features like a deck jet, and in this particular photo here, you can see these little jets. That's what they're talking about, so those are already included with the pool. And also a picture frame cage all the way from one end all the way to the opposite end of the home. So a huge, huge pool frame there that's gonna keep you protected, uh, you know, from the bugs and uh, especially from the mosquitoes and uh, you know just give you a nice little place to chill and hang out and swim in the pool and watch your lake view. Um, let's see what are some of the other features they have to offer. I mean there was so much that they have with this so I think what I want to do is just kind of click open these up so you can get a better view and I kind of want to go one by one through some of these and uh, kind of explain what this house has to offer. So obviously your front yard uh, you got a decent sized front yard you also have these beautiful palm trees and uh, gorgeous, gorgeous green grass. So they did a great job on the landscape setting this up for you. The other nice feature here you'll see is that it is uh, gated on the right side of the home. So let's say you have pets, you have some dogs and you want them to go outside. You don't really want to walk them. At least you can put them back here and they'll have a nice place that they can hang out and be safe. Now this view, this is pretty amazing. I mean, you can see obviously your four car garage, how much space you have here, huge driveway. So, you know, if you're having friends and family come and stay with you, uh, you have plenty of room for their vehicles as well. Also to the right here, you have this other lot and this lot is empty. So, you know, if you decided you wanted to have some extra space, you could purchase this and leave it empty and keep some privacy or maybe you want to put another house on this lot as well and you know have that as a guest home for some family or for friends to come visit but the big uh the big piece to this is the uh, nice little lake that you have here so if you're somebody who enjoys fishing let's say you like going boating or jet skiing uh, kayaking canoeing this is going to be perfect it's right there in your backyard you can wake up drop the boat in go out fish for the morning come back cook them up and have them for lunch Now, the other nice feature here is that, you know, obviously you have your lake here, but there is a waterway, a canal that runs through here and also connects to this opposite lake on the other side. So again, you have plenty of room to go boating, jet skiing, kayaking, canoeing, uh, fishing out here. So 
you know, plenty of options. And, and the canal continues on. There's other little lakes and other canal areas back here. So, I mean, you could go on for days and days through all these canals. Again, a nice shot here. You can see, again, a wider shot of the fenced-in area. This is gonna be a nice place for your pets to play. Now, moving on to the interior. This is what I was talking about a moment ago with the 90-degree sliders. These sliding glass doors here are at a 90-degree angle at this point. Now, generally in most homes, they have a pillar that sits here, and that pillar, kind of gets in the way of your view, especially if you're in the kitchen trying to look out or if you're in the dining trying to look out, you have this big pillar that's kind of ugly and in the way and blocks that beautiful view. So what they did here is just made it all glass straight through. So these two glass doors push back, these glass doors here push into the wall and it leaves this whole section wide open for viewing. Now in the living room here, you can see that they've done a beautiful job putting in this wood plank flooring and a nice little touch is these little circles on the floor, these are power outlets. So on this side, you're gonna have your entertainment niche here for your TV, so generally you're gonna have your you know, couches and chairs uh, sitting around this area, so they could cover up these two outlets, and you can have, you know, say, table stands on either side with lamps and uh, have your plugs right here kind of hidden away, which is really nice. Another cool feature and a nice accent touch that they did was a double tray ceiling and custom fan within it. And also you can see the two-tone here, uh, kind of a little accent color. They did it also in the dinette as well as on the entertainment wall. Now getting into the entertainment wall, they did a nice touch over the top here with this arch. And then also these three accent lights. Your TV will go here on the wall and you also have your plugs and uh, your outlets here for cable. Within the living room, you have your foyer here, uh, front doors leading into the living room. Um, obviously, you can see here, these have been kind of stained and uh, gives you a little bit of privacy so people don't see directly into your home as they're approaching. Also, it gives a lot of natural light also from the arch window here. So between these three windows, uh, you get plenty of natural light coming into the living room. Also to the right here, you have a office den uh, type of study. And in a moment, we'll have a close up picture of the room so you'll be able to see that a little better as well. Onto the kitchen, you have the granite countertops. You have uh, the fridge and freezer. On this left side is the freezer. On the right side would be the refrigerator. And you can see how big this is. This is literally like the size of a commercial refrigerator that you would find in a uh, restaurant kitchen absolutely amazing and off to the left here this at the top is going to be your microwave underneath is going to be your stove and back here is your propane uh, stove that you're going to have and you have ventilation here for the stove as well leading outside another nice shot here you can see how wide open the room is so while you're in the kitchen you have plenty of wide open space here to work and cook while having plenty of wide open space for the living room for your guests. And uh, you know, kind of a nice touch is that with it being wide open, if you have to cook while you're cooking and preparing the meals, you can sit and chat and you know, be able to entertain your guests. Whereas you know, in most kitchens, the kitchen is separate from the living area. They're both kind of closed off from each other. So you know, while you're cooking, you're kind of isolated away. Your guests are on their own. At least this way, you know, you're kind of all together as one group having a good time. And, you know, they can watch you cook or come and help you cook and uh, you'll be able to serve them a lot easier as well. Now, this is a beautiful feature. This is what I was talking about with the rollout trays. This is going basically from the very top of the cabinets here all the way down to the floor. All of this tray space here for, uh, you know, all your cooking utensils, plates, cups, and then not to mention, I mean, you can look around the kitchen and see how much extra uh, storage space. I mean, there's just cabinets everywhere in this kitchen all the way across the top back here by your stove You have more cabinet space and then even behind the sink here on this island area. There's even more cabinets back here as well Now one nice touch um, Unfortunately, you can't see it in the image, but 
These little accent pieces right here, those are actual spice racks. So these will actually, you grab onto them, you can pull them out and it's a spice rack. It's a really nice touch to keep it right here while you're cooking, you have it close to you and it's hidden away. You don't have to actually see it and it just looks like a regular accent to the uh, cabinets. No one would ever know it's there. Now on this side, you can see the, uh, the dual sink that you have here. Um, you have your uh, dishwasher on this side as well. Uh, under cabinet um, space here for storage. And just off to the side, unfortunately you can't see it in the image, but there are two more cabinets. And in those cabinets, it's a roll out garbage can. So it's on rollers, it would roll out. You could put your trash in there, roll it back in and close the doors and it's hidden away. You also have a dinette here, a little area you can put your table, uh, have breakfast, dinner here, lunches here. And the nice thing is that, you know, you have this nice picture frame window overlooking the water while you're eating. Also to the right, this would be the patio area. So you'll be able to look out over the pool area as you're eating as well. Right here, we have the study again, the uh, office or study room has a nice window leading out to the front yard, also comes with a fan installed in the room, and also this has a single tray uh, within the ceiling. You're in the master bedroom now, uh, comes with fan, also glass doors leading out to the pool deck, so you have your own private access going into the pool area, tray ceilings, which is a nice touch, and again, they kind of gave it this little accent color offset it from the white within the room and the wood plank uh, tiles uh, as well. Here we have the uh, dual sinks, uh, his and hers. Over here on this side you have dual closets, so again his and hers closets, so each of you will have plenty of room and as well as a nice big mirror, so both of you have plenty of mirror space, you won't have to fight over it. Another shot of the dual sinks and the mirrors and this is within the master bath so you have uh, a nice little tub here which is kind of cool this little door shuts it is for one person but uh, you can fill this up and it's kind of like having your own little spa that you can you know kind of sit back and relax in now for the shower you do have a glass door sliding glass door here and tile throughout the shower Nice little accent with the uh, two-tone tiles, uh, you know, within the center here, and a nice rain shower overhead. One of the uh, spare bedrooms here has four windows and another window on the other side, so you're gonna have tons and tons of natural light coming into this particular room. This is gonna be the uh, guest bath. So again, they have the shower here, no tub in this one. And the tile, which is pretty nice, goes all the way up to the ceiling. Another spare bedroom. Again, another look at the uh, spare bathroom. And this is another, this is the uh, third spare bedroom. This particular bedroom is kind of nice uh, for either guest or whichever family member is going to be living in this room. They have their own bathroom built into the room. It also has a glass door here leading out to the pool deck as well as double glass doors here leading out to the pool deck as well. Now in your laundry room, you can see here that you have tons and tons of storage, plenty of cabinet space above, as well as cabinets below and a sunken sink here. You also have your washer and dryer. So, you know, again, plenty of storage out here. This also leads out to the four car garage. And again, you'll have plenty of storage within the garage area as well. Moving on to your pool area, you can see that you have a huge, huge deck here. Um, within this particular area, they also have a wall over here to the right. This wall is plumbed so that you can have a sink out here. Uh, you know, you can put cabinets out there, you can put a TV, there is electrical, there's cable already hooked up. So you can have a nice little entertainment section out here while you're sitting out by the uh, pool. Nice uh, steps leading down into your pool. Again, you have these little bubblers, uh, sprayers in the water. 
Over here, you have a little sunken seat within the pool itself, so you can sit back here, relax, have a drink, and be able to look out over the water. And this is a gorgeous view of your backyard. Again, to the left is the fenced-in area where your pets can play. A nice little backyard, side yard, and then also your waterway here. Uh, it does not have a boat dock included with it, but obviously that's something that you can add later on. Nice overhead shot showing your whole yard, the side, the back, and then also your fenced-in area. And, uh, you know, this is going to be really nice. You can have your kayaks, you can have your canoes, uh, even jet skis. Park them right back here, wake up in the morning, hop on and, you know, go take a ride, go out fishing and just enjoy the day. Again, this is kind of a bigger view of the lot that is next to you. Again, this is maybe something you could purchase and uh, either keep it empty to keep some space between you and your neighbors, have some privacy. Or if you wanted, you could build another home through uh, Pinnacle Property Group. Um, they can help you build a home on this lot and then you'd have a second home for uh, either a family member, you know, maybe you have older adult uh, parents and you can have them stay with you or just friends and family that want to come stay and just kind of hang out, you know, for a week or two and visit. They would have their own home and uh, be able to be right next door to you. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the tour for this home today. Just wanted to go over all the features, show you uh, kind of what it has to offer. And uh, if you're interested in this home and you're ready to buy or interested in buying, make sure that you talk to Mark Ludden. He is with Pinnacle Property Group and uh, he can answer all your questions and uh, take you for a tour, walk you through the home and hopefully get you get you keys to the house and have you set up. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and remember, talk to Mark.